What's up, guys? This is episode 13. Uh, Roxo stops by poking God. Let's uh, go. Yeah. What's up, man? How you been? Uh, hanging in there. How about you, dude? Chilling, man. Chilling. Chilling. Good, good. So, uh, how's your experience so far? Uh, NEC? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's definitely, it's what I remember from last year, which is yeah. everything good. So No Japan players? No Japan players this time. They came to my tournament <laughs> that okay. I ran. Uh, yeah, you know what? How was that, man? I've been meaning to talk to you about that, but how, how did it go? Uh, final boss, uh, I think it was a huge success, even though there were stream problems because okay. the hotel just wasn't good. Oh, okay. Um, other than that, like, um, the players all had a good time. Um, there was a bunch of setups for people to continuously play friendlies because that's one of the things that like people want to do is mm -hmm. play offline, and th when they get a chance to do it, they want to continuously do it and yeah, yeah. Just keep doing it. And we had a bunch of setups for that. Japan and uh, there was a guy from Germany that came through too. Okay. Um, they all enjoyed it, and it was a just a absolute probably one of the best events that we've had for Pokémon. How much was that that popcorn? I heard it was kind of huge. Three thousand. Three thousand. That's a lot, man. That is a lot. For Pokemon, it's a lot. I would say. Yeah, we got a thousand from Evo, and the uh, other two were uh, from your boy. But yeah. Let's go, Rock. So that's okay, <laughs> man. It's, everyone supports their own stuff. So for like for the ten people who don't know you, how, how'd you like start in everything? Like, what, like what's the beginning of Rock? So. Beginning of Rock? So. Yeah. What's the beginning, man? Well, I was uh for three months. I played only online. From, yeah. Since day one, on um. So this, this is before nobody knew what Roxo was. I mean, only the people that knew Roxo were just like the the online warrior Roxo. Yeah, yeah. So I went to Hitbox Arena, the first my first local event mm -hmm. for, and I went for two weeks straight. I bodied everybody. Yeah. And um, then Cat Fight came, and then which at the time he was like number like two or arguably number one in the world. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, in the United States, and he popped me real quick. And I was like, oh, that's what a top player looks like. Okay. And I just wanted to aspire to be that continuously. Mm -hmm. um, I top eight in my first major, which was Apex okay. uh, 2016. And um, and I went to Evo. And, I, and at, at Evo, I really, like, saw, like, if I really want to, like, continue this or not. Because I got 49th there. Okay. It was all right at 1,000 people. 1,000 people. Damn, and, 1,000 um, people for Pokemon? 1,000 plus, yeah. Yeah, so... I was like, where are these I don't players know. at? <laughs> yeah, like um, honestly. Well, it was a new game at the time, man. True, everybody, true. everybody wanted to hop on. Yeah. And I decided then that I really wanted to pursue this, and ever since then, it's been an uphill climb to where I'm number six on the PR currently. Oh, there you go. In yeah. the world. In the world. Damn, bro, that's a grind. That's <laughs> what I'm talking is, about. It is a grind. <laughs> Yo, so um, for like 2018, like where do you see like poking going? Um, where I see poking going as of right now is. I don't want to say it's uncertain because mm -hmm. we don't know, like, what's going to happen with, like, majors if they're going to continue to support us because to set up Pokémon is probably its biggest downfall. We yeah, need two yeah. switches. We need two monitors. We need two of everything except for, like, a crossover cable. Um, but other than that, I don't really want to rely on majors as much. I want us to be, like, a grassroots. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. We run our own events and stuff like that. And try to make, like, it, everybody's experience there, like, one to remember. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to try to do. Because I'm okay. starting, like, the final boss one, the $3,000 pop bonus. Yep. Um, that was our first grassroots tournament ever. And everybody loved it. And I want to continue to do that. And I was planning on, mo with multiple people, about running uh, grassroots tournaments throughout the entire United States. And possibly Japan and Germany. So we're working on that. Um... And when that happens, like I think that it will climb. We need to run climb. a circuit. That's what we need to yeah, run. We want a circuit. That's that's. That yeah, I'm whole... all for it, bro. If I Inferno I'm... can join that circuit, yeah. I was talking about with uh, Brooklyn uh, earlier, and we want to do like a for every three months. So it'll be like Inferno, Inferno, and then you know like a a major for every three months or something. Okay. Something every quarter. Like I mean, we'll we'll hash out the details, but we want to do something like big every three months for for Pokemon because I definitely want to see that game grow. I want to get some switches, man. Those things are expensive. Like the whole setup, just to get one, I it's know. like almost less, a little bit less than a thousand dollars, man. Two monitors, two switches, mm -hmm. fucking cable. Like, it's just I crazy. know, it is unfortunate, but that's why, like, the people who have DX, like, they're willing to bring their stuff. We yeah, know yeah. what it's involved to have a setup. Yeah. So we don't mind bringing our setup. So we like the 
setups that we have right now are all community driven. We yeah, have yeah, like exactly. we have close to like six full setups. I mean, that's why the same thing in uh, Inferno at my uh, my store. Like I I literally tell you guys like I have no setups. Yeah. But we, next thing you know, we have like eight people bringing switches. We got four setups, and it's all good. We run an event. But I mean, like that's how it's that's how it started, man. Yeah, it's yeah, if we want this thing to grow, which our community does, we have to come together. Obviously, we usually do, and it's not an issue. Mm -hmm. We just have to come together more often. Is yeah, the yeah. thing because we at the Evo Drive, we all came together for like 60k plus yeah. of money, and like that was amazing. Even though we didn't win, like. It just showed how strong our community is. So I want to continuously have a community, like, support this game. And I want to do that with grassroots tournaments, grassroots circuits, all that stuff. All right. And then one day we will get to the place where we want to be, which is a recognizable fighting game. All right, so for uh, 2018, what's, like, the next, the next, next big, t like, the next big tournament for you guys? And 2018 itself, it's going to be right away, uh, Frosty Frostings. Where's that at? Broccoli didn't know, like, where. Uh, Chicago. Chicago, okay. It is going to have, um, in terms of the PR, it's going to have at least six of the eight top ten, uh, six of the, six out of the ten top ten players okay. going there. So it's going to be stacked. All right, man. Uh, got any like Twitter people can find you at? Oh, um, <laughs> well, I mean, to find me, uh, my Twitter's at Roxo the Savage, R O K S O the Savage. And All right. Yeah, that's, I mean, I don't really put myself out there. <laughs> like, people I mean, usually so. see me and, like. All right, fair enough. So, either All right. way. All right. All right, everybody, that's Roxo. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, guys. All right, take it easy.